finding articles to write and publish for your website can be very, very time consuming, especially if you are looking to set up a brand new website or let's say, for example, you're trying to replicate one of your competitors, you might not know where to start. So what I've done is I have created a free to use sheet. Uh, the link for this will be in the description down below. Once you actually get access to it, make certain to click on file and then make a copy. But this will literally do everything for you. So this is the actual commands that I've used. And basically you input a sitemap with an actual keyword that you want to try and rank for. Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website, as you can see from the graph, or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store. If you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. And basically what this will do is it will go and find all of the related articles to do with that keyword, right? So for example, all I've done here is I've just searched best running shoes and I've just selected um, this website here, which ranks position number three um, in the UK for best running shoes. And all I've done is I've just put in the actual sitemap, which we can actually get if we go to the robots.txt of any website. And it will usually have the sitemap, as you can see down here, sitemap. So if we just copy that, you'll know that it's worked because when you go to it, it's a very ugly looking file. Um, and then what we do is we just copy that and paste it into our command. So the command is equal sitemap and then we've got the actual sitemap here and then we've got the keyword. So let's say for example, we wanted to only look at women related um, articles. Let's say we wanted to try and rank higher for best running shoes for women. We can actually plug in any one of our competitors and it will actually give you a list of all of the articles that they have to do with that keyword. So as you can see here, they've actually got, um, they've got do, 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 just over 1,605 articles on their website live talking about women related um, women related shoes, women related boots, etc. But this this sheet doesn't stop there because the next step, what we'd want to try to do is figure out how relevant are some of these articles. Now, what I've made this sheet do is if we actually grab, let's say the top, let's say the top four or five articles. You can then go into tab two and I've also coded an article finder. And basically what this does is it will tell you the actual H1 on all of those pages. So for example, if, if we get, let's say the top 15 articles, right? And I'll just drag this down. And as you can see here, we can very quickly scan through any of these articles and see if they are relevant to our website or not. Um, and this can actually be applied to literally any type of website. So let's actually take a look at a local website, right? So if we go to google.com and if we search for, let's say, lawyers in New York, let's say we want to try and rank higher for a local related um, keyword, we can obviously click on what any of the map pack listings here. We will go with P and W lawyers. And again, I'll go to the sitemap.xml. And do, 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 do. what we want to do is we if there's a if if there's two sitemaps like what we've just seen here, we want to try and select the, the most relevant one, right? So if say for example it's this one, we can obviously copy this URL, go back to our sheet here. 
and then just paste it in here. And then let's say, for example, we wanted to rank higher for family law, right? I would then put in the keyword family, and then this should bring back a load of family related blog articles that we should be uploading through to our website. So for example, we've got um, kid criminal juvenile detention or family court. So that could be a um, supporting article linking back up to our family law uh, or family lawyers in New York page. Um, obviously you've then got P and family law updates, mothers pot smoking, not enough. So it's to do with like a case or something that they've won. In some cases, some of these articles you will find not being actually relevant. They're, they might be like business updates. So you don't want to obviously necessarily upload those. But for example, when should uh, kids be treated as criminals? That's a brilliant support article. If we wanted to try and rank higher for family lawyers, I would 100% uh, get that uploaded through to my website. You've then got child vac uh, vaccine dispute divides family. So that's more, again, like a news article. I wouldn't necessarily focus my time and effort on actually recreating that on my website. Then we've got um, parents and newborn. But again, the, these three are probably a little bit more related to like news and stuff. So I, I wouldn't necessarily worry about those. But let's actually swap out the keyword, right? Let's do um, injury because again, personal injury really big out in the uh, out in the states. Personal injury. Um, I've just searched injury as being the actual main keyword. If you guys can see that there, and as you can see, we'll just copy these articles over onto our article finder. And then we've got, can a temp waiter sue an, assi an assigned employer for personal injury? AIDS uh, sues schools and autistic student for injury. And then again, you've got two more news related articles. So as you can see, we've got a lot of articles there that we can definitely do. Let's, uh, let's do another example here for HVAC. HVAC California. We'll find a HVAC website here. We'll do next gen air and plumbing, and then we'll go back to the robots.txt. And as you can see, they've got a sitemap. Copy that sitemap over, and we'll go into the posts as well. So we've got 168 articles that we're looking at just there. And again, what we'll do is we will include plumbing as the actual keyword. <clears throat> this will filter out all of the um, articles that actually have that in the um, URL. So we've got a lot of articles here. Um, actually, what, what I'll do is I'll change this to AC because AC is quite a big keyword as well or air conditioning installation and as you can see here we've got a lot um, so again if I just copy the top 10 articles obviously you can do more I'm just copying the top 10 for the purpose of this video so should I repair or replace my M my R22 uh, refrigerant air conditioner what to do in a HVAC emergency, the top five most expensive HVAC and plumbing repairs, should I avoid the cheapest AC installation, how long should an AC run on 100 degree days, does a window AC take air from outside, how are your HVAC and plumbing systems connected, how to block and smoke from your, or sorry, how to block smoke through your coming AC vents. So what I would be looking at doing now is if I already have some articles live on my website, I would then probably look to do the exact same thing for my own website and then run this through ChatGPT, which I'll show you um, in just a second. So here's the actual prompt that I've used. You can also get it in the last um, tab on the Google Sheet. So here are my blogs on my, on my website. Here are blog articles from my competitor website. Um, and then the last line, which is really important, can you look at the articles and remove any duplicates and show me the articles that I'm missing in a table format? The reason why we're doing it in a table format is because we can copy and paste it back onto our Google Sheet. But this is the actual um, 
is what it actually looks like. So basically what I done here is I just used some dummy example articles um, and then I also used some competitor articles as well. And there was, in fact, two articles that were duplicates, which ChatGBT actually highlighted. And then, as you can see here, it's got missing articles from competitors that you do not have. When to replace your gas furnace, five things to consider when buying a furnace, broken furnace, here's what you should do, 10 tips to... Uh, 10 tips to stay warm if your furnace is broken. Want to upgrade your apartment? It's HVAC. Uh, why does ice form in dust list? And so on and so forth. And then we actually have got a list of proven articles that is helping our competitor rank higher than us. And these would be the articles that we want to essentially publish onto our website. Now, tomorrow, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showcasing another Google Sheet um, that I'm actually working on tonight that will actually help us construct the content brief. So if you guys haven't, remember to get the link for this down below. Um, I will also, it's completely free. And once you guys have this, I'll also send out the content brief sheet that you guys can have access to. So you can actually start constructing your content brief and knowing which subheadings to actually include in all of your um, articles as well. But that has been today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, please remember to leave a like. And if you guys do want a free 15-minute growth strategy call, make sure to check out the link down below or head over to casualdash.com and fill in the contact form. Thanks.